middle part of the 2011-12 year is when things started to open up where HD video could be executed and now people were interested. How do you scale that? My name is Pete Wagner and I am the Director of Hockey Media Services at Youth Sports Plus. Now we're at a great location for hockey in the state of Minnesota. At Braemar Arena, we're in the East Rink, one of three arenas that are indoor at this venue and an outdoor arena as well. I realized uh, that we needed to add another component to our facility and that was live streaming. Our team uses Speedio and all of the components associated with the cameras themselves in many ways, as a coaching tool, as a broadcasting tool, and as a streaming tool uh, for youth associations of all types. As a lifelong broadcaster, from radio to television to live streaming, putting together all of the tools for Cloud Studio and its use together into one bundled uh, cloud-based product is amazing. I basically use it from a play-by-play -play perspective. We're able to run commercials, video commercials for our sponsors, uh, have commercial logo bugs, create highlight packages, and utilize a professional broadcast with one person all in one location or off location, which is an incredible way to use it and to scale your business. Over the next year, we're planning on doubling the number of cameras, doubling the number of broadcasts that we have within our network. So to go from 17,000 broadcasts to over 30,000 broadcasts is achievable with the scalability that the cloud-based Speedio system allows us to do. Cloud Studio Anywhere has allowed us to extend our reach as far as talent is concerned. There are a lot of people that want to get into broadcasting that maybe can't or don't have the opportunities to do so. Now you can literally be anywhere around the world, be interested in becoming an announcer, and then we have the ability to extend our reach doing more broadcasts at a professional level with people that want to increase and improve their skills. Since sort of adding cameras, expanding our, our reach, we've been able to, to hit up more and more locations and diversify our reach in terms of sports and, and to just see the opportunities growing, whether, whether it's high school or youth levels or covering all of the Minnesota Youth State tournaments this year, it was a fantastic effort and, and it was awesome to be a part of. We have a very large setup of broadcasters and announcers which continues to grow. And what we do is simply schedule each talent throughout the schedule for that given night. There could be anywhere from five going at a time to seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up to 22. And basically everybody's trained and able to get into the system. They can start their broadcasts. What we have done is we've given everybody consistent broadcaster tools from what their audio soundboard sound like and how we deliver a consistent sound and message to the viewer. They're able to then uh, just seamlessly get right into the broadcast. The greatest part about what's been added to Cloud Studio is we have the ability to dig into each broadcast and we have instant feedback with a monitor that can show us exactly what's happening. We can see the quality, we can see if the game is running on time, if it's running behind, we can update the broadcaster to you know, delay the start of the game or if they want to extend it. We can hear how their audio sounds and we can do that at a click of the button. We can just dive into every one of our broadcasts quickly and efficiently. It's a really great tool to have right within Cloud Studio. It delivers us the capabilities of high quality video, incredible broadcasting tools, coaching tools which are second to none integrated all within the same package with a support and dev team that are willing to work with us and take our game to the next level. It has clearly allowed us to scale as a group and it's allowed us to really become a major player and I think the sky is the limit for what we can do with these tools. We wouldn't be where we are right now if it wasn't for what we're working with with Spideo.